St. Lawrence River is one of the world's largest freshwater ecosystems. People who look at the river, they look at, look at it for the water, not for what lives in it. And yet, beneath the surface is, a, is an ecological battlefield. There are wars being fought. Wars for food, wars for shelter, wars for territory. And the wars are being driven by biological invasions. That's the introduction and spread of, of non-native species. Just within the last two decades, there has been a series of invasions that have, that have affected the river and have changed the biological communities throughout the river. My lab, my students and I, are interested in, in, in answering questions such as what makes these species particularly invasive? Why are some invaders more successful than others? Why are some more destructive or harmful than others? And the river is our laboratory. Here, we conduct experiments to try to understand um, which species are likely to cause trouble when they're introduced in environments where they don't naturally occur. And the St. Lawrence is the first large North American river that's been invaded by most of these species, so it provides valuable information that can be used to predict what these species will do when they invade other rivers on the pond. Two years ago, our lab discovered a new invasive species in the St. Lawrence. It's called the Bloody Red Mycid. It's a little tiny shrimp. So I have been sampling throughout the length of the St. Lawrence River since the beginning of the summer in order to try to find out where this little shrimp likes to live. Um, I want to know uh, where we're going to end up finding it in high abundances. And so far I have found some uh, that it does have some preferences. And for example, uh, we find it in areas that are protected from currents, like the marina here at Lachine. Um, and in fact, the place where we have found it in the highest densities has been the Port of Montreal. Uh, which is quite protected. Uh, basically, wherever I drop my nets in that uh, area of the old port, I pull up hundreds of hemimysis, and uh, it, sometimes it doesn't even matter what time of day it is. So as I pull it up, all of the water that has gone through the net ends up in this container down here. We have found that it has been spreading throughout the St. Lawrence at a quite a rapid rate and it is a concern to us because it has the potential to affect the food webs um, in the St. Lawrence River. 